What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Rebuilding Mercury Farms. So I've decided to make a few changes since the last time we were together. I wanted to... Oh, not crash. That's definitely what I wanted to not do. So as you can tell, we've got quite the color scheme going on right now because this farm right here, I've decided to brand each farm. And this one, you can probably figure out, is going to be Fent. That's right. Our main farm will be a Fent farm. We're going to go with a few different tractors. Each farm, I would like to do three tractors plus a combine. This one right here is going to be our medium tractor. So we've got the Fent 700 series right here. Let's bring that down nice and easy. And drop it off. Good. Now, we got to head back and pick up our next tractor. Ooh, the next one's going to be cool. Well, we've had a bit of an issue with this guy, unfortunately. Um, yeah, we, you can see this is definitely not the way a normal person would put all this down. Can, can we lock this stuff in the back of the truck? I don't think we can. Uh, I'm going to do it anyway. So what we've got is the Fent 500. We've got the 515. It's got five or 150 horsepower, rather. And we've thrown in Coon Sprayer with it, which is going to be perfect. We're going to get a couple fields over here. Each farm will have a duty. <laughs> yeah. All right. So <laughs> you have a chair moment. So what we've got going on is we're going to have three different farms. Like I said, we're going to have a Fent farm, a Massey farm, and a Challenger farm. Now, each farm will be responsible for doing one thing. So it may be responsible for getting root crops and corn, or it may be responsible for doing grass work. There's a whole lot of different stuff that each farm will have to do, and everyone will chip in together to bring it all together. So we'll feed the horses, we'll feed the pigs, we'll feed the cows, and we'll be we'll have some left over for selling that's the idea and so what i'm hoping actually what i'm hoping is that i can go back and get that i think i know how i did it let's see if we can make it happen uh, so that's going to be the game plan again it's an agco only um i am refraining at least right now <laughs> we got it i'm refraining right now at least from using valtra uh, I'm not uh, I'm not opposed to using it. I just don't want to use them right now. Now we will if we have to, um, but we're gonna have I think it's three farms. We'll have our chicken farm, we'll have our cows and pig farm, and we will have this farm right here. Now with this farm right here, this is definitely the fen farm. And the next farm we do is going to be the cows and pigs. Now we put down a pig farm and we put we put down the pigs yesterday and I really did not like what we were using. So we're going to go and we are going to completely delete the pig area that's there and we're going to bring it in. Now you may see DJ you got a lot of money right now, 66 million dollars. That is a fact. Yes, yes, yes. We do have a lot of money right now. But as soon as we get done setting up, we're not going overboard with anything. We're just getting the necessities. Again, I want to have three tractors per farm. So total we'll have, uh, was it three harvesters and, go ahead and drop that off there. Three harvesters and nine tractors, I believe. But again, like I said, each farm will have its own duty. So we've got this. The next tractor can go fast enough by itself. I don't need this truck. For the big tractor on the Fin Farm, we have gone for the 900, and we've gone with the big engine in here too. And we got 39 miles an hour. I love it. So we got a weeder on the front, and we've got a lime spreader in the back, or solid fertilizer, whatever you'd like. We're going to be using as much liquid fertilizer as possible and solid fertilizer in the cedars. Now, we're not going to be doing any corn on this field, or this farm rather. We're going to be doing mainly regular grain crops, so wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, or uh, soybeans, not sunflowers, that kind of thing. And this is going to be our main farm as well. So this is where we're also going to be parking our trucks and that's stiff. So what we got here, let's see, where's a good place to park up? You know what? I think since all the trailers are hanging out back here, let's go ahead and park this here. 
This is a really, really good setup. We're using some of Jim's, uh, some of his trailers from the MF Shed Pack, which is really, really cool. Oh, I'm loving this pack. It looks so good. I tell you what, this weeder is pretty neat too. Check this out. I know it's just stacked up and then it extends all the way out to 12 meters. Look at this. Thing's massive. Look at that. <laughs> That's crazy. Anyway, this thing's going to be put away as well. Let's see if we can get this thing stacked. Uh, let's see. Where do we put this? I think I'm going to try to make this go right beside the sprayer. Just for now. Right there. Got it. Dropped off. Perfecto. Now, let's take this tractor and kind of put it... Uh, hey, you know what? doesn't really need to be... Oh, I know exactly where I'm going to put it. So we've got a couple sheds right here. And we're going to put it right here because we're going to put our harvester right beside it. Oh, it's going to look good too. For the harvester, we have gone for the Fent Ideal 9T. We went with a big engine in here. And we have gone for tracks. Of course, you have to go with tracks on these. Otherwise, you completely flip forward. But it is nice that we can still change the color. And we've changed the colors on the rims and the front as well. So we got a really nice setup going on here. Now this header is going to go down here just along this long row right here. I'm going to take this, put it about here. That'll do. And we'll drop it off. And spin this around as much as we can. And bring it and park it inside. So now we have our three tractors. We have our one harvester. Beautiful, I may add. Backed up, there we go. Nice, 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 nice. There's only one more thing that we need to get for this farm, and that is a semi-truck. Now, we did get a brand new trailer a couple days ago. We're gonna take a look at this guy right here. This is the Ben and Lou, if you guys are on console, is gonna be labeled as a lizard. Rim color, Fent, naturally, main color. You guys think we're crazy? Come on, Fent green, derp. And for the top, I think, Oh, that looks real bad. That looks real bad. Let's let's see if we can go with like that. Maybe black. How's black look? Eh, they all look terrible. You know what? Let's just go with jet black on the top. Let's see. Without reflectors. Eh. Yeah, without reflectors. I don't like that. And with spare wheels. The spare wheels have the same color. And I love that. So let's purchase. And now we need a truck. Now we've used the man truck on here quite a few times and I gotta be honest with you, meh. I hate having to take turns with that man truck because the bed just, or the, the cab just pew, off to the side, goes crazy. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here. There's that. And configuration, trailer hitch. Look at that. It looks like it's supposed to be a fent. I love it. Purchase that, yes please. And check it out. Not too bad. I tell you what, not too bad. This is going to take our grain from point A to point B very good. Now, here is the only issue with this. Now, of course, we don't on this uh, on this area. Um, we're not going to be able to do much carting, if any, with this. And I'll explain. Because when you go to dump, and it's not going to let us do it right now because we, quote unquote, don't have access to the land. But with this guy right here, what happens is when you dump it, it kind of starts going up. And it even says, and Mr. Silly P mentioned this in his mod video, do not go crazy with this. Let's see, does it say we own this? Yes. So check this out. So opens up pageantry, gotta love it. And then it starts to tip. Hey, there goes the uh, plane, very cool. You can see now how taking this inside would be a very bad idea. So yeah, we're we're not. <laughs> yeah, we're we're gonna go ahead and bring that back down. Also, I'm trying to figure out what. Uh, let's see. One full tipper, full tipper. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's got the little that little guy right there. That's pretty cool. This right here. Oh yeah, the third axle. Forgot you can raise and lower that third axle. 
That's pretty cool. We're going to keep it down just for now. Uh, and see, tip side back, tip side grain door. Now here's where... There we go. And then it tips it some. Now the question is, is it going to tip all the way up? Or is it going to stop? It doesn't seem to be moving as fast, but we have already passed. Yeah, so we're not going to be able to do that either. <sighs> it's okay. It is what it is. <laughs> Let's just bring this guy and put it away. At least for now. We're not going to be using this for a long time. A very, very long time indeed. Where are we going to park this? I think we could park this right over here, right at the end. Keep the trailer in, and we'll move the truck, and we'll park the truck somewhere else. So... Let's go ahead and change that back to tip side. Let's go ahead and close the top. That way nothing gets in and nothing goes crazy, especially when uh, when we get seasons. As a matter of fact, I don't know when seasons is coming. Uh, but as soon as something with that happens, there we go, we will have that and we will not be able to keep that open because it will just fill up with snow because that's what happens during seasons. Well, there we go. So there's that. We've got our semi, we've got our tractors, we have our combine, I would say, and we got a truck. I would say this area right here is pretty much done. Now, I do want to come through and just double check, make sure there's nothing else we need before we move on. And I'm also going to load up Fent. There it is. Just to take a look and make sure that there's nothing that we wanted to bring over here. Actually, you know what? This might be handy because we're going to be doing straw. So having that might actually be good. You know what? Let's uh, let's take this. Let's take the 939 and let's go pick that up. There we go. I love it. I love having just anything that can be in that brand, having it. Drop it off. Perfect. So that is this farm. And we've done just about everything we can here. Now it's time to start making our way over to what will be the Massey Ferguson farm. So this is our farm that we put down a couple days ago. Pigs and cows. We've got two cow pastures. One over there and one over there. And I don't think where they are. Let's go ahead and find a nice happy place for this. Maybe about right there. That'll do. I don't think where this is is where I want it because yes with it being here it's fine but it needs to be farther back it needs to be back here it needs to be around all the all the junk that Jim has left in here this is where it needs to be it needs to be all the way back as far as we can so that we have as much room up front as possible which means we've got to get rid of this buy anything mod we've got to sell all the cows we've got to sell this cow pen not only that we got to get rid of this so that we can replace it. And we're going to have to get rid of all of the pigs in here. Because I don't like this at all. Because I want to put down another pig pen. I want to put down Jim's pig pen. The yes one, right? <laughs> Sorry, took me a second. I want to put down this one. Now, the only problem with this one is the ground doesn't really like what I'm trying to do with it. So we're gonna try our best to make all that work. I don't know how we're gonna make it happen, but we're gonna do our best to make all that happen. First things first, we've gotta get rid of all these cows. $400,000 in sold animals, not too bad. Now we need to take that and we need to sell it. So let's go into garage, large cow pasture, sell. Oh yeah, I forgot we've got creepy gnomes in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get rid of those. And, oh, we got some manure there, too. And we need to sell this guy. So let's go in and let's find that. Uh, that's going to be a placeable. Let's see. It's one of these. That's not the one. It's all the way over here. There we go. There it is. Now, you're probably asking yourself, why am I selling this? Well, because it's not quite where I want it. So we got rid of that. That's good. And now we need to get rid of the buy anything mod. Boom. Now we've got some room. <laughs> we've got to get rid of all these gnomes. So I'm going to go around. We're going to get rid of all the gnomes. And then, uh, yeah, speaking of, whose idea was it to put all these creepy gnomes everywhere? <laughs> They're just in the way. 
You know what? I'm leaving the one at the horses. They deserve it. <laughs> the pigs, poor pigs. They don't deserve that in there. All right. And the Lepacho tree. Now we're going to leave that. Okay. So now that we've got this area, let's take our landscaping and let's go in here and just kind of paint over. Oh, that's rays. That's no good. Let's go ahead and flatten that back out. That never happened. Painting. Painting. Ground textures. Here we go. This is what we wanted to begin with. Come through here. Rock and roll. Got that. Good, good, good. And we'll get rid of that as well. Got something over here. I don't know what is going on with that. Oh, yeah. It's a fallen tree. Nothing wrong with that. So we've got that area. Good. Now, cow pens. We need the in-game cow pen. The one that Jim made. Large cow. Here we go. Bring this over here and get it in a way. I'd like to get as far back as I can because I really, really like the area that we've got going on right here. So I want to get as far left as I can without it being too weird and as far back as we can get without trees sticking through roofs and everything. And I think that is going to be the winner right there. Click it. I want it. That's mine. Pow! Now, we could go in and take the pig pen, like this guy right here, and we could put it kind of long ways like this. And that was something that was recommended yesterday. However, I don't really like that. And I think what we're going to do is keep this area only for these guys right here. And we got to get rid of those cows or those pigs too. But we do have a huge open area here now. We might be able to do something with this. Pigs are gone, $300,000. And not only are the pigs gone, but the pig sty is going to be gone in just a second. If I can find it, there it is. Get rid of it, pow, and it is gone. Now, like I said, I want to put in the end game pigs. Where, where is that? There it is, right here. This guy. I'd love to put down two if we can. I just don't think with all the trees and stuff around, I don't think that it's feasible to be able to put two of these down. Let's see, about right there, about right there. You know, we could. We would have to do a little bit of work and we would have to change up the way the whole thing sets. But I think we can do this. I think we can do this. I think we can make this happen. So what we've got to do is we've got to get some stuff to cut these trees down and we've got to get a stump grinder. Actually, I think a stump grinder is all we need to get this job done. Let's see what we can do. Here's how I'm going to take care of the issue of the trees. So normally I use this guy right here, which is kind of like the Rayboard's a PC mod. Works pretty good. It's called the Big Daddy. And guess who showed it to me? Big Daddy. <laughs> of course he did. It comes with this guy right here, which is the, uh, it's, it's like the stump grinder, but I always have issues using it. And, uh, yes, there's ways to do it. Yes, there's ways that you can not break it, but I tend to break it a lot. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and remove a few of these trees. Just the ones that we need to remove and hoping that we will have no issues, even though we will likely have issues. There we go. Hey, no issues at all. Look at that. Now we got a stump. And let's take our stump grinder, raise the... <laughs> Raise the, the hind end of it up, bring it back here, and start bringing it down to completely rid ourselves of the stump. Speaking of, there is a stump down here if you guys are running into issues like me where you have to completely restart your game. This stump right here will remove that big rock right there. So we're going to see if we can get both in one, one shot. Yep, there goes the rock. And there goes the stump. So there you go, you could do that, and that's gonna change everything for you. Now we're just gonna come through and remove a few more of these trees to make it nice and easy for us. Oh, slow it down. There we go. Tree's good, tree is done. And bring it again, stump grinding time. <laughs> I love how I can use both of these at the same time. This is really, really cool. If you guys are on PC, I highly recommend you use these. It's the Brock's Big Daddy. 
and the bio belts. Now the bio belts is available to everyone, not just PC players. This is also available to console players as well. And I highly recommend, you can actually cut down trees with this thing as well. Uh, and then just kind of follow the tree along and you can completely demolish everything about it. So you can take this whole thing, this stump grinder and just get a tree and start grinding away. And you can, you can take the entire tree. Oh gosh. You can take the entire tree and take it. Boom. So let's take this one and, uh, I think we're going to remove a few hedges as well, just to be on the safe side. Let's see. Are those all the trees we had to remove? Yes, those are. Nope. Oh, we've got one more tree that we need to remove because I need to get as close as I can over here. There we go. There's that tree. Now, we need to get rid of some of these hedges. We've got some hedges here in our way. We need to get rid of these. I'm going to use this. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Hey, it does. Check that out. Nice. And that brings it down to a nice stump. Oh, let us out. <laughs> there you go. Nonetheless, cool. So let's get this. And then we're gonna come through and flatten it and get ready for the piggies. Now that everything is out of the way and we are good, we've got plenty of room to mess around now. So let's do that a little bit. Let's, uh, let's see. First things first, I guess we should place them down. Cause well, <laughs> why not, right? Animal pens, let's head over here to the piggies. Where's the little piggies at? Cows, sheep, pigs. So we're gonna take these right here and we're gonna place just kind of one down and then move over and place another one down. I need to find the center though. That's gonna be the toughest part. We can either find the center or we can just say, okay, this looks good. <laughs> and do whatever over here and do the same thing on the other side. But I would like to try and find a happy center if we can. Let's see, about right there may be good so that we can stay out of the way of ourselves whenever we fly through here, you know, a thousand miles per hour. Let's see, about right there. I'm feeling, I'm feeling that one. I'm feeling that. Feels pretty good. So let's bring that all the way down and hit purchase. There we go. And we're just going to do exactly the same thing over here. Looks like we got plenty of room. One thing that we will have to do is come around. We, I think we're going to have to buy that, uh, buy that land right there because we've gotten a little too close. I think we just got a little too close over there and now it's starting to show us some problems. So let's find, find right here. I think that is where they share a gate. We just got to do our final double check and that's it right there. I think, yep, that's it. Oh, oh we hit it buy yes buy it nice yep we just got a little too far over to the right we got cocky we got cocky <laughs> so we're gonna have to fix that because this looks terrible i'm so sorry jim i messed up your map it's so beautiful oh we'll have to figure that out but regardless guys that is going to be it for today i hope you've enjoyed if you did please drop a like all right please subscribe if you got any ideas drop those down in the comment section i would love to hear from you with that being said, hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Oh, this is going to be so cool. Peace.